So this afternoon, I think it's about 4 p.m. I'm on Third Road. I'm gonna try and put up a quick picture of where I am. But uh, I've come, I've seen this a couple of times, Big C Supercenter. So I need a few bits and uh, I want to see what this Big C is like. So if you're interested in knowing what's in here, that's what you're going to see on this video. If you're not interested, see you on the next one. Oh, there's a lot here, but I can't see the big C. The big C must be upstairs, uh, like it is on uh, Central Road. It's pretty similar to the big C on Central Road so not a lot of difference here we go fellas I'm sure you've all tried durian before very tasty but very smelly and banned out of most if not all uh, hotels but I do like these little mango dried mangoes so I'm gonna try and find some more of that. I don't need I don't need all of these packets. There we go. Get one of those. Three quid, six Aussie dollars. Saves me eating a load of Haribos. Right, I have got a shopping list fellas. So let's get on to it. I'll try and give you a few price comparisons here. Like I say, this is only a video for if you're interested in Big C and shopping in Thailand. This reminds me, so we're going to an orphanage in me and a friend, a female friend from here. She does taxis. I'll try and put her on the video. But we're going to buy a load of sports gear for this orphanage. I'll do the video probably this week. Um, and she's given me a price, actually a good price of uh, stuff. She did tell the, the store that we were donating it. So look out for that video. But the football here is what? Eight quid. I think she's getting football for around about 250 baht. So yeah, keep an eye out for that fellas. These ain't actually a bad price here, dumbbells. Less than, what's that? About eight pound, 16 Aussie dollars for five kilograms. That's that's a very good price, six kilograms. But ideally I want two 10 kilogram dumbbells. Or resistance bands, which I don't see. Now here we are, I've actually come for one of these, a set of scales. These keep me on track, uh, physically, mentally. So we're gonna get one of these. They're cheap. Now, in the other store I was going to, they were like 1,200 and 1,400 baht. So these are only, what, 14 pounds? Definitely going to need one of these fellas, a hoover. Look at this here, 15 pounds for these uh, these hoovers here. See if we switch them on, eh? They look pretty, uh, pretty cheap, but that's all I need. I don't want to be spending 400 pounds on a, on a hoover. Just something like that to suck up hairs and whatnot. Because you don't get a cleaner in your condo, obviously. And if you do want one, it's 500 baht. 
So there's a, there's a hoover, but I ain't gonna get that today. Cheap though. Now they're always good, aren't they? Toasty maker. Right, on to the next thing, an odor trap. I need some odor traps. There's a cost of fridges here, if you need to know. Fridge freezers, 22,000 baht, 500 pounds. Thousand Aussie dollars. Right, odor trap. Just asked this woman where an odor trap is, and she just went over there. I was like, oh, thanks, perfect. Just what I needed. Rock and roll again, fellas. Life in Pattaya. Rock and roll. Right, I've never used an odor trap in my life. So, what it looks like, I don't know. Fantastic. That, fellas, is a lemon squeezer. Which reminds me, I need porridge. Living the dream, aren't we? Now I only plan on cooking my own breakfast. I don't plan on cooking anything else. Just so you know, it's that cheap here. You can obviously eat out every day, but I need a little bit of a healthy breakfast, I think, at least one healthy meal a day. Uh, so I'll have omelets and porridge. I think that's all right, isn't it? 250 mil. Uh, a little bit, what, three pounds, six Aussie dollars for olive oil. Extra virgin. Oh, it must be that one, it must be 159. Let's just go, let's go to extra virgin. Capitalism and marketing's got me there. All right, next, eggs, porridge, lemons, bananas. And that's uh, maybe some coffee, actually. I've got a kettle, so yeah, we'll get some coffee as well. Bin bags as well, four, eight, twelve. So what? That's uh, it's not even two pound for. I think that's forty-five bags, which isn't bad. Again, just like to price check everything here for anybody that's interested. I know some guys are. I know some guys aren't. Right, next tissues when I say tissues I mean kitchen roller I could have done with picking one of these up but they're bulk maybe I'll pick up like single items either 7-eleven or further down you guys want to see the cost of wine and spirits here let's have a quick look I believe that's a litre so that's like 40 pounds, 80 Aussie dollars. Now I do like Malibu, but that's a small, that looks like 75 CL, yeah. It's actually 70. So that's quite expensive actually. Gordon's dry gin, which I like. That's uh, 20 pounds, 40 Aussie dollars. There's your wines. Shiraz, what's that about? 13 pounds, 19 primes, that's a popular wine. Again, about 13 pounds. So yeah, not cheap, it's about half the price of that in the UK. But obviously somebody's gonna tell me it's all imported and it's more expensive. I know, but I'm just showing you guys. I think I'll go for the 12. Nope, it's 10. Uh, what's that? Two pound for 10 eggs. Don't fancy them there. Quail eggs. Of course you can get these cheaper, but I do like organic. Here we are, 
Nescafe Gold, this is what we're talking about here. That smooth isn't bad either, so that's five pound. Uh, that's a tenner. Maybe this is fine here, we'll give this a go. Three pounds. What's the difference? The hell's the difference between them two there? Now I do like cream with my coffee. I don't think milk's very popular here. I'll have to have a look. Now they obviously do do milk, so I'll uh, go take a look. Still haven't found kitchen roll. Ah, it's living the dream, aren't I, fellas? I wonder if uh, a lot of you guys can relate to this shopping around for bits. I, um, you know, bits that you need for the house. Or oh, you all got wives that do this for you. Just doing a mundane shop. It's that mundane that I was talking about yesterday. Sometimes I've just got to live in the mundane. These fellas a perfect for drying clothes you just bang your t-shirts and whatnot on a uh, on a hanger and hang them on there so i'll be getting one of those as well but not now consumerism that's what i meant to say not capitalism consumerism right now i need milk i've got all the the, the basics apart from the kitchen roll which I'll get from 7-Eleven, so now I need food. Hopefully that's full fat milk right there, because we don't want none of the 0% uh, crap. It's got to be full fat. I don't think they do like a semi-skimmed. I would get semi-skimmed, but... There we go. wonder how long that lasts. So that is... 60 pence one thing you do get here is little put together meals which are always good I mean, look at that tom yum fried chicken 75 pence with rice absolute bargain egg rice chicken there's curries there these are real bargains here. This is where you go if you want to get cheap food. I think that would cost me about 200 uh, from, from the little store I go to. But you get much more as well. I think that's duck, look. £1.50 for all that duck. That's uh, a big, I think that's fish steak. So yeah, really good here. I normally get my chickens, which I will now. Gotta get some of that for my omelet. I buy one, get one free. I think it's that. Crying tiger, yeah. Flipping bargain. 50 pence. One Aussie dollar. There you go, bargain. So hopefully that's me sorted for breakfast for at least three days. See how much all this costs. I imagine it'll be a bit of a fortune, uh, but we'll see. And there you go, no different to England. A couple of bags of shopping uh, for £50. I did get some scales and bits in there, so I guess it's a little bit better than the UK. Right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. If you were interested in the, the price of things at Big C here. 
I shall see you on the next one. And we'll finish. We will finish there, fellas. My omelette. I picked this up from my little shop. I asked for steamed vegetables. I pointed at the steamed vegetables and rice, and I got chicken in it. Um, I bought my own chicken, as you've seen there. So that was 190 baht, which is what eight pound. Uh, sorry, four pounds omelette, rice, and vegetables, which is quite dear, but it is what it is. Uh, and my chicken there. I do like the little restaurant. That's why I go there. So, fellas, hope you uh, hope you uh, enjoyed that little trek into Big C. I'll uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I don't know if I'll have a a quiet one. I think I need another quiet one tonight. Um, I'll go do some walking, and I shall see you on the next one.